Hey, what's going on guys? It's Grim, and here's another server tutorial, this time for Conan Exiles. Uh, a few of my buddies got this game, and, you know, obviously we've all seen the, uh, the nude model characters running around and the teabagging and all that, so obviously it looked fun. Um, you know, mixed, it's got mixed reviews right now, um, and, you know, I've played it for a little while, and my quick assumption is it's very much like Ark. Um, layout, gameplay, all that stuff, except for it does have a few tweaks that I think are a little bit better, little animations that are better, um, some gameplay style that's just a little bit better, uh, maybe more thought out, um, but it's, you know, a very interesting looking game, so I definitely recommend if you can pick it up, it's only 30 bucks, you probably catch it on sale, uh, I would definitely check it out, um, but anyway, so the game itself comes with, uh, the cool ability to... Run your own server, um, and as you all know, if you know me, I love to run my own server. So I'm gonna run you through on how to do it. It's a, kind of a few-step process, but when you're done, you'll be able to have a kind of a self-monitoring server. Um, you know, you're gonna download um, a Steam command. You're gonna download the uh, software stuff, to install it to you know a certain file, and then you're gonna create a couple batch files, which is gonna start the server. Um, and then also, once the server is started, it will monitor the server. Um, and what I mean by monitor is it will make sure the, the server is up and running. Um, it will just make sure it's still running. So first thing you have to do is go to the Steam command um, page on, Val on Valve Software uh, .com wiki. Um, I'll include links in the description, so be sure to uh, go there if you need them. Um, so you can just go to downloading windows. And then download here and then you can just click here and download and then once you get it you can go ahead and open it um, but I already have it so um, and right now I'm doing this on a uh, server box uh, that's a i7 3770k it's got 12 gigs of RAM 64 bit uh, it's running Windows 10 because it's used for multiple things um, it's, it's a private server uh, unless you play with me or whatever you probably have never been on it um, so go to the drive that you're going to install the game. Um, I'm going to install mine in the storage drive here, uh, Conan Exile. So um, I've downloaded Steam command, but I need to get, make a couple folders. So I make one called the game because that's where I like to install the game. Um, and then I like to install Steam command in this same area. Um, so I just make a folder called Steam command. Um, so here we go. Steam command. Uh, I, got it in, uh, I got it in the C drive here. But, you know, extract it, and then put it in the Steam command folder. And then once it's in the Steam command folder, go ahead and run it. Uh, you'll see a little w command window come up. It'll extract the package. Just takes a quick moment to install. And then go ahead and allow it. And then once that's done, go ahead and uh, you can, I think, type it, yeah. Type exit or you can just close it out. Um, so now the Steam command is run, uh, we need to... Capital G. Uh, we need to install the game. So we're going to make a batch file in this folder here. And it's going to be called Conan Exile Updater. Uh, BAT for batch file. Yes, I want to change it. So go ahead and open that in Notepad. And the first thing we're going to do is So now that we have this file open here, we're going to go ahead and start typing at echo off. We're going to title it Conan Exile uh, Updater WAT. And then we're going to set some paths for the uh, for the game directories and the branch. And now the branch is important. Um, it's not the same as the game app because it's the dedicated server. Uh, so 
so make sure you pay attention to that. Um, and you have to log into it anonymously. And that's uh, also very important. Jesus, I cannot type right now. Uh, game, and then we will set um, Steam Path to D Conan Exile slash Steam Command. And then we're going to just put some uh, outputs here just to let you know what you're doing. way you can always just verify uh, what exactly you're doing and what you're setting up. Um, and then I like to add in a pause that way it doesn't just run away from you. Um, pause basically means you have to hit a key to, uh, to move on um, so it's just nice that way so if like you accidentally clicked on it you don't just start doing what you don't want to do um, all right and then the other next thing is important is um, logging in anonymously um, if you try to log in by like if you're you know familiar with this and like say you already have something set up to do something similar if you try to log in uh, using your Steam uh, credentials, it will tell you that you are not subscribed. Um, to which then you just you know change it to anonymous and then re-download and you will be subscribed. Um, and okay, so that'll that should run the Steam command, um, and then we're gonna send out some more messages. Conan Exile is now up to date. Um, basically this will run the install and then once the game's installed if there's ever an update to the game you just run that and it'll update the files that it needs to update and then you should be able to just run from there um, and then again I like to put a pause in so I'm just gonna put a little yeah, make sure you exit okay so let's go ahead and save that now before you save the file there's a couple things <clears throat> that I've learned is uh, just kind of getting rid of some of these little spaces here um, I've seen it cause errors at times. So I just like to snug up, get rid of any uh, extra lines. We're going to save that. And then once that is saved, go ahead and back to here. And double click on this file, and you'll see you are about to update Conan Exiles directory. There's your branch, there's your Steam path. Press any key to continue. And then it's going to start downloading the game, connecting anonymously. And then it's going to download. Now it's 30-something gigs, so it's it's going to take a minute to download. And we're going to sit here and watch every bite go. No, I'm just kidding. We'll be back when it's done. All right, now in the meantime, while your game is downloading, um, you can create the next two batch files that we need to make. Um, and those are going to be pretty simple to make. Um, I'll try to explain it uh, as best as I know. I mean, I, just, I have just been using these files. Um, this is kind of how I learned how to do this stuff. Um, so the one we're going to create is called server start.bat. And then yes, again, we want to change the extension. So go ahead and edit this with Notepad. And then, again, echo off. I honestly don't know what that does. I've just done it in every file I've ever made. Um, so here we are. We're going to title it. That way it has a name inside task. Uh, and then we're gonna do <clears throat> we're gonna do task skills here uh, because we're going to make sure that the if if there's a server instance already running, then this will shut it down. Um, so that way you get a nice clean fresh start because like sometimes if you double clicked and you have an extra one running um 
whatever reason. Um, and then so the file that will be run is called Conan Sandbox Server dot exe. Um, so that'll be the, the name of the uh, file that'll be that when we run it. Um, so basically, we're gonna do another check here. Okay, and then I like to let it. Oh, whoops! Oh, damn it! And then do a little timeout here. It's just like it does a little countdown. Just gives it a break before doing things. Uh, and then we're going to do starting the Conan Exile server. Um, so let's mount where the game is. Which is going to be the Conan Exile uh, slash game. And then we're going to um, start the game. Conan Sandbox server.exe and we're going to do dash log um, and I found if you don't do dash log you I, I, I don't get a window because um, I did it without log and the server ran you can still get on it and do everything uh, but you just couldn't I didn't really know how to shut it down other than killing it um, so I do dash log and it opens up a command window that you can just hit control C and uh, close down the server so it's pretty nice alright so, um, and then the next thing we're going to do is what's called uh, multi-home. Oops. And basically that is setting the uh, server to the local IP. So this is where you'll have to get your local IP of your box. Um, so in my case, mine's uh, 1.159. Uh, so that, that it's just defining which box it is for the, for the router, um, you know, for your network or whatever. Um, so and that's all I use. There are a few others. You can set things on here like uh, server name or query port, but I'm going to show you how to do that through the game files, um, not through here. So that, that's easy enough. Um, so then I like to give it just a few seconds for the server to start. It doesn't take very long for the Conan server to start. And then Conan Exile server has started. Um, and then now... Uh, like I said, I'm also going to show you how to create a monitor for your server, so you can always tell when it's running. Um, so this is also, once the server's up, we're also going to start the server monitor before we close this out, uh, close out this file, okay? Um, so we're going to mount where the uh, batch file will be, which will be in the Conan Exile root folder. Um, and then we're going to start, Jesus, server monitor.bat give that a my anarchy is just not working today give that a time out of like three seconds and then server monitor has started have fun and then exit and so save that and then we're going to create a another file here uh, so new text document we're going to call this one server monitor imagine that yes we want to do that so then right click edit with notepad all right so we've got our next file here to create now this one uh, i never wrote uh, this one i've just used and i'm not going to sit here and type it out like i didn't know it um but basically it checks for the game running um and it checks in a few different places so it checks in task list if it doesn't see it there um then it takes a, it looks for it and so if it's if it's running if there's an if there's an error of one then it's going to server is not running will be started now start and code exile server start um so it's going to start it's going to run the server start batch file um and then it'll time out and let it uh, go again but if it is running and error level is zero, meaning no error, it goes to the loop. So the loop is uh, close, uh, echo server is already running, running, running monitoring loop. And then here's where you can set how long it actually counts down. Um, so you can have a check every 30 seconds, every 90 seconds, every five minutes, every 10 minutes, whatever you want it to. Um, I have it on about 80 seconds just because. Um, and then again, it'll look for... If it's running, then it'll go.
So uh, this is this file. So like you said, you you can just download all this shit. Um, I'll, well, I'll not download it, but I'll put like pasty links up or whatever. Um, I could just make a city here and try to type it up, but that'd just be mean. Um, so then, and then that's pretty much f much it for the batch files. Um, so yay, fast forward to the future. My game is downloaded here. Um, so what you want to do is the first time that you get it downloaded, go ahead and click run. Click on the exe, uh, allow it access, and then once it starts, if it starts, okay. And then so once it starts up, close that. Um, mine didn't start because it's already been started. Um, and then, then you, now you can go in here and edit your server files, uh, which is going to be your engine. So you're going to go into game, uh, Conan Sandbox, going to go into saved, config, Windows Server, and then you're going to go look down for engine.ini, and you are going to... Uh, you can get these values from one of the links that I'm going to give you, um, where you get it right off of here. Uh, just copy this, paste stuff in here. You can put your server name in if you want it uh, to not be public, to be private. You can set a password. Um, you can set your port for your query port for your game server. Um, you can also do your task timeout. If you know what that means, then you can play with it. If not, then just leave it alone. Um, and also, you can define your ports here, which we'll go over in a second. Um, actually, we go over right now. Basically, you got to UDP open your port 7777 and 7778, and also 27016. And I would recommend doing 2015 as well, because that's the Steam uh, query port. Um, and just do UDP for all of them. And if you don't know how to port forward, then probably shouldn't do it. Uh, but it's a bit pretty easy to access your router by going to 192.168.1.1, put in the admin and password, and then you go to port forwarding, and then select whatever server box uh, local IP that you're using, and then open up those ports for that IP. All right? So pretty simple. And then so save that, and then go to back to your folders here and go to game.ini. And here you can put in your max amount of players. So if it's just you and some friends, you can just put a handful. Or if you want to do a public server, you can do like 70 if you have a good box. And then the last one will be the server settings. Um, so go ahead and open that. And here is where you can set all your good little settings. Um, so max nudity is two, which is everything. One is partial, zero is none. Um, I don't really know what mind reading mode is. Server community type is whether it's your relaxed or your strict or RP or whatever. Um, I'm a relaxed, so it's what we play on. Um, and then you have all your multipliers. So now, you know, it's simple math. So if, if something's, you know, to say in this case, we want to strengthen... Um, uh, here we go. Nighttime speed scale. So speed scale is at one. If we want to make it go five times faster, we're going to make it five. Now, if we want to make it a quarter f slower, you know, you know, slow it down. So instead of, tw say, a 12-hour period, it's now a 48-hour period. We would want to put it at 0.25 to cut that down. Maybe that math's wrong, but you get what I'm saying. Um, it's, it's all about multiplication. So if a day is 24 hours and you put 0.5, well, it's 24 times 0.5. It's 12. So now your 24-hour day is now 12. So that means time is going to go by faster. So if you want a longer day, you would multiply that number and then create um, you know, sl a quicker date, nighttime, or however you want. Um, and you can do that with all of them. You can do it with player damage multiplier, um, your encumbrance multiplier, your XP rates. Like all my XP rates here are all at 5. Um, so whatever we're doing is if we're getting it, we get five uh, health regen speed. We're doing eight and a half because it does. And to be honest, that does actually nothing. Some of them don't do much. Um, some of them do a lot. So like the important ones are like the uh, conversion uh, item conversion multiplier. That's your build speed. So the lower the number, the faster it goes because um, we want to cut that time slower. 
Um, so that's you're gonna probably play around these for a little bit now. What's really cool is that in the game uh, you can make yourself an admin um, by setting the admin password. Uh, so like mine is set to one one three eight. You can set the admin password to whatever um, you want, and then you can go into the game and go into server settings and log in as an admin and click on Make Me Admin and ask for the password, and then close it and reopen it, and you can actually have a bunch of server settings um, so you can do simple things like you change date times you can spawn stuff uh, well that's the admin menu um, but as far as server settings go you can like change what time it is you know um, certain things like you can give yourself god and admin uh, god mode fly mode demigod so it's like you can still die but like simple things don't hurt you there's just a lot of options for that um, so you definitely gonna take your time going through this, um, and the links that I'm including, like especially the 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 official wiki server info, that will have a lot of explanation about what each piece does. Um, so you can kind of learn what each thing is. And then, I mean, and then that's really it, man. So once you have that done, you're gonna go in here. Now I'm gonna go. This technically this server is not set up to work, and I don't want to screw anything up. So. When you're all of a sudden done and you go back to what you're doing, you go down to here and you click on server start. And you're going to see Code in Exile is now started. Press Control C to shut down. And now my monitor is running, server monitor. And so now, say after 70 seconds, the server is not running. Okay, so I just set the server down. So in 50 seconds, this is going to um, start. All right, so now you can see here we're getting close to uh, zero hour. And as soon as I hit zero, it's going to see that there's no server running, and it's going to start it for me. The server's not running. We'll be started now. So there you go. Um, huh. One thing I guess we didn't uh, do was put a server monitor close. So what we can do is go back into the server monitor and all right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go back into server start and under this we are going to do another task kill. So basically, if this gets run, it's going to also check for the uh, a command window with the title. Equaling server monitor dot BAT. And then this will then kill the server monitor. We can go ahead and uh, start it and make sure that it closes. So, start. With the server monitor. And then this window is going to close here in just a second. All right, we'll let this uh, load here and then we're going to press Control C to close it down. Uh, all right, so it's good enough for me. Uh, so now it's shut down. So now we have uh, 60 seconds to wait. Um, but just so you know, if uh, like if you're doing stuff like this, you don't have to sit here and wait. You can just press a key to continue, and it'll run the loop again. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit a key now. Um, so there you go. Server monitor shut down. Just, uh, server started. There's a new server monitor. And so that way if your game crashes or it locks up, It'll find it, it'll stop it, it'll restart it, and then it'll monitor it. So it's a, a nice little piece. Um, so now you can go and play. So then you just go to play online, pick your PvP, pick whatever server you picked. Look for your server, or look for it directly. Now, mine shows right up because I favorited it. I don't know if that even works, but ours is make Conan great again. So then you'll join, you'll put in your password, you can save it. 
And then you start playing the game. So once I get in here, I'll show you the menu that I was talking about, the admin menu. Um, they'll let you do s several settings, and you can give yourself things and items. And All right. So I logged out over here. Ah. I'm on the giant hand. Um, there is our base up there. All right, so anyway, so the admin panel, so you can't get it, you have admin rights. Go to settings, go to server settings, click on make me admin, type in your admin pass, hit OK, and then you have admin rights. And apply, or go back, reopen your menu, now you have admin panel, but go back to server settings, and now you can change all this stuff. You can set a server password, admin password, all that stuff. Um, Clan size, maximum nudity, voice chats, XP, player rates, uh, day night cycle, survival, combat, harvesting. So I go through and play with those. A little bit easier than trying to do multipliers. Um, so go back and then do admin panel. This is where you can give yourself XP, so you can level yourself up or just quick level yourself. Uh, give yourself other admin commands, um, hunger, thirst, stuff like that. Teleporting, teleport to a sandstorm. Ooh, that might be a good idea. Let's try that. No active sandstorm. All right, well, one does, I'll do that. Um, so you change time. Um, but now this is where you can spawn yourself to stuff. So basically you can click on gear and you can look in, like, um, iron. And you can get, uh, an iron pike and then quantity. So yeah, I'm going to get myself five of them. Hit spawn, close out of the menu, go to your menu here, and then you will have five iron pikes. So, like I said, man, this game's kind of like, uh, all right, you can see this from the menu. Uh, it's, you know, level up. You got recipes and uh, attributes. At least they let you reset them. It's nice. Um, so this is where you, uh, oh, okay. Good to know. Yeah, they did just subjugate the game, so. So that's Conan's Exiles. Um, I suggest you try it out, and if uh, you're looking to do a server, then hopefully this helps. It's, um. Uh, it's kind of spotty, a little over the place. I was uh, dealing with my kid a little bit uh, while I was trying to make this video, um, and then I just I kind of ran into some stupid problems while doing it because, like I said, I was doing it on a backup drive, and uh, I already have it running on a main drive, so I didn't want to just run both at once and screw shit up. Um, so the install and stuff, but this should all work. I'm going to include links to the batch files, uh, so you can just copy paste and have them running. Um, but that's the main uh, setup, so hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. Uh, leave a comment, and I'll try to respond as quick as possible. All right, guys, take care.